Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Now, I wanna present you guys with a solution to a problem that you probably didn't even know existed. We're always striving to get more information about our medical equipment, especially the used medical equipment that you're gonna be purchasing. And it, it's kinda of like the way the auto industry faced before Carfax. And speaking of Carfax, we have a product that does almost the exact same thing, but for medical equipment. And it's something that I've never even heard before, but it's a startup. And as we get more participation, there's gonna be more data into the database, more data equals better value for all of us as a community. So with that, I present, <laughs> this is Mark, and he is going to take it away, please. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Mark Mayu. I'm from a company called Equip Track. Uh, we tell everyone we're basically a Carfax for the refurbished medical equipment industry. So uh, we've come up with, we just came out of a, kind of the stealth mode, if you will, last month. And uh, the idea basically is uh, almost very similar to our Carfax. So uh, we uh, have about 4,000 uh, different uh, US FDA recalls in the system right now. Uh, they're not just scraped off the site or anything like that. We've done a lot of uh, analysis of that so to provide some value there. Uh, and then we also have another part of our system where uh, we made it and spent a lot of time uh, trying to make it very, very easy for biomeds and other companies to uh, easily enter in uh, inspection checks. Uh, we have predefined inspection checks per uh, equip type. Uh, and we also have predefined maintenance checks and activities per equipment type. So it makes it super easy, we believe, uh, so that everyone uh, can enter in their data easy and, and quickly. So to use this system, what type of information would the potential buyer or the owner of the equipment need to know? So super simple. So, uh, but the trick, as probably everyone knows, is that um, it's very, you can't uh, search on the FDA site for a serial right. number. Right. So uh, what we do is uh, you go to get equipped track reports and all you need to know is the equipment type. So right now we have uh, our 10, right? So we have 10 right now that we're going to start with. Um, they range from autoclaves up to uh, 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 ultrasounds. Um, we have C arms. We have a number of other things. Okay. Um, and so you just need to know that. You need to know the OEM, of course, uh, the model name, uh, and and it's all pull down, so you don't have to type it in. Uh, there is an option to do that if you get into some of the guts and the details. We try to make that pretty user friendly. And you'll have to know the serial number. Right? And you need to know the serial <clears throat> number. Okay. So once you have those pieces of information, you put them in uh, this form right here. Uh, you click, uh, we have to all of our other checks and balances here, you click uh, search, okay. and what you'll get is uh, a, um, I don't know, I think I've had it open. But, it's, uh, so it's a detailed report yeah. of what recalls are around the unit, whether or not okay. it has had those recalls performed, and uh, does it show like previous ownership or how many owners or anything like that? Yes, so, okay. um, so right here we, we have a, a small demo of a C-arm, right? Okay. So we just launched uh, or just updated the site. Uh, just the other day, and we even have sub-assemblies now. So uh, I see we, we got recalls, maintenance records, age, age and, and last, uh, reported last reported software revision. Software number. revision, okay. So that's important, right? A lot of the recalls are based on the software revision, uh, and so that helps as well. So if, uh, if you I have- like a, how you, it's segregated too. Yeah, so we have we have a lot of uh, code and other things involved here for the trend section. So. We do things like um, if it has, uh, if it needs um, calibration, mm -hmm. right? We say, hey, you probably need to calibrate the item probably once a year at least. So if it doesn't see a calibration event in the in the record, then it'll flag that. Okay. Uh, PM, um, uh, all kinds of things like uh, inspection checks, right. uh, yearly maintenance, things like that. So that's the section. A lot of this uh, is really for the end user. So if you have a buyer that's going to buy, see in right. this example, is a C arm. <clears throat> This could be, help them kind of decide as well, like if they want to buy it or not. And that's one of the major advantages to using a report. Because imagine you have two like items and, and everybody sells around market value. But if one you have more information on versus the other, it makes the purchasing decision much, much easier. I mean, there's a lot of risk with purchasing large medical items. It's very expensive. And if an item hasn't had a recall performed, and then that's additional downtime, that's additional risk that maybe you and your hospital, you don't want to partake in. Very interesting. Yep, yep. So uh, in, exist, in this example, the first item, so it's a chronological report, just like Carfax. So okay. we always tell people, if you ever uh, run a Carfax report, 
this is meant to be very, very similar, even the level of detail. So if you go look at a Carfax report, it's not meant to be a granular level, like all the biomeds right. would have a four page report of PM. That's not where we land in the whole spectrum of things. So what you see here, uh, this is a maintenance event on a C-arm. I've checked all of the, uh, <laughs> all of the, the inspections and the, um, uh, the maintenance on this particular one. So we go okay. from things like uh, checking an image intensifier, to just checking the wheels and locks, things like that. So we try to make it both uh, somewhat <clears throat> detailed a little bit to make it easy, but then um, high level, just, hey, you know, do you clean it? Did you check the fasteners? Things like that. Right. So does it also contain information like the revolutions on, say, a CT or maybe the hours on a ventilator? Something yep, like it? yep. So in this case, in this example, I don't have that, but we do have when that, is, that information is entered, it actually appears up here, okay. right? So we're, in this case, I entered in the current software revision, again, as a demo. But that information will be here as well. Okay. In that. Because I, I know as a, a servicing company, and I get... A, you know, a new customer, and I don't have a service history on an item. I'm I always struggle with trying to get them to get me the hours, so I know what level of a PM this device needs. And I would say I would definitely run a report on it if I could, if if yeah. I got more participation. And we could certainly go through. Uh, I can show you the maintenance when you add maintenance. You'll see those fields as well. Okay. So well, if we so get into any of the details. In in order for this program to be successful, you're looking for like partnerships, right? Uh, Correct. Company, right. Companies like let's say third party repair centers or someone mm -hmm. that when they touch a device, let's say a large reseller, when you resell something, you're going to certify it maybe for a warranty or something yeah. where this, this could be one of those records that just perpetuates with the, the device, follows it along. Um, I would assume that if these large companies were to start creating these reports for their equipment, not only can they command a higher dollar value, but also a, for resale purposes for the customer, it's obviously going to be a, a value. Yeah, I mean, like as we talked about before, this is very, very much like a Carfax, right? Mm -hmm. You got widget A with no Carfax and a couple of blurry pictures. You got widget B, maybe even the same pictures. And you got, a, you got some kind of uh, historical chronological report. So which one is the, is the buyer going to buy? Right. So that makes uh, some of those buying decisions we I think mean, easy. The average vehicle sells for what, $38,000? Yeah. I right. mean, and you know, the average medical device, if it's imaging equipment or something, is going to be fifty to two hundred fifty thousand dollars on up. And I mean, <clears throat> if you can have a company like Carfax come out and create this thing that changed the game for the entire industry, now when you see something like that being applicable for the medical industry, where we're more regulated and you know the, the dollar value on our equipment goes way longer than it does on automotive industry. So um, I could see that that would be amazing if this was a tool that everybody utilized. And then you'll see here on the second row, again, this is a demo, but on the second row, uh, this is a recall, and this happens to be from the FDA. Okay. Um, if you ever, when you get any of our reports, if you ever want to see the actual recall itself, there's a link right here. I want to click oh, on it. Oh, it's a hyperlink, okay. It's a hyperlink, right? It's a hyperlink there. So if you, it'll take you straight over to, um, to the recall itself. So if you wanted more de detail, we don't show every detail, some of the recalls can be pretty long, uh, but you have that there. Um, determine cause, the date of the recall, uh, the status could be closed, open. And then one thing unique very much to us and anyone, uh, and uh, FDA itself, right? In the recall, um, you have to do a lot of reading and a lot of analysis to see uh, if there's any subassemblies um, affected. Okay. And actually, we actually call it out. So we do some of our analysis is just to understand what the subassembly is. All right. Um, so we'll actually just tell you. Sometimes it might be a power board on a C arm, things like that. So that way, if you're looking at a piece of equipment, if you run a report, you say, oh, well, there was an old, maybe closed uh, recall on, a, on this PC board. Maybe I should just go take a look at it just in case. Who knows? Huh. And so you'd have a list of things that you'd actually go through. Again, even if the recalls are closed, a great thing to just go check and just to make sure that maybe someone missed it. Who knows, right? That's interesting. So, yeah. uh, can you do a search based on a model without a serial number? Like uh, just no. just to see kind of okay. No, nope, we don't do that. I, I was like, I, I'd be really interested as a research tool. Like if I'm looking at Samsung versus yeah. somebody else yeah. to see who's got more recalls or something. Um, well, we are going to have, so we're going to start posting on a LinkedIn and we're going to do some of this analysis on the detail okay. level side, right? And we're going to do a buy and make model. We'll do a couple other things. So it'll be interesting for folks and we think maybe a lot of other folks too, just to be able to see, oh, you know, you know, PC boards, this, that, this, that, and the other that had issues, sub-assemblies. Um, there's a lot of good information we could get and share with people. 
Interesting. About that. So what does it take for somebody to become an industry partner so that they can start utilizing this process? Well, the good thing there is it's super easy, actually, and it's free. It's free for everybody, right? So all you have to do is go to our website, equiptrack.com, um, go over to the, uh, the sign-up page, and if you wanted to be a partner, you just sign up. We have a simple little form, um, and you sign up, and then there's a really brief um, review process. It could take just 20 seconds, 30 seconds, something okay. like that. Um, and then all partners, um, you get 10 free reports a month, and then any report that you guys need to run after that, it's half price retail. So reports range from $45 to about $65 or so. So, um, and then it actually, the, our platform also lets you add more employees to an overall account. So it's easy to share it, things like that. Huh. Um, wow, that's really interesting. Uh, I'd be really curious to see uh, if, if some of these large vendors start utilizing this. I, I would suppose that their trends for, for their sales would also increase. I mean, I, that's, it's an assumption, but well, I mean, if they offer like a report on their device versus somebody that just offers, you know, raw statistics, uh, you yeah. know, generic statistics. Well, we say, you know, even on our website, we have, it just makes sense. I mean, it just makes sense that you would be able to either sell faster or sell more and sell faster. Right. So in the future on eBay listings, mm -hmm. on .med listings, mm -hmm you would see a link in the ad that would say, click here to see the report on this device. Click it, you pull up. It's a service history. Um, just like auto manufacturers have been doing for decades now. And I've always said that clinical engineering, we're way behind the curve. And this is the first product that I've ever seen that kind of fits this bill. And all we need is more adopters, and more sponsorship, and uh, more people to see that there is value in this resource. Anyway, Mark, thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Guys, I'm going to leave information in the video description down below where you can check out more on this product because if we get more people to use it, you're putting more data into the database, it's better for the entire community. Thanks for watching, guys.